Hi, man, Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to the Back Off Teardown Lab. Today we have a blue tech. What could a blue tech be? Of course, it's a clone. It's a clone of an iPod. An iPod Nano. So you've got a reasonably nice sturdy box, actually. It'll be a shame to be dismembering it, but really this device never really worked. Even though it was brand new, it never really fully functioned. Do I dare give it another quick chance to see what's in it? No. There's an SD card in there. 128 megabytes. Wow. Let's zoom in. 128 megabytes. Fantastic. It's almost useless now. In fact, it is now. I was hoping I'd be able to snap it in a way that we'd be able to see what was inside, but uh, nope. Okay, headphones, yeah, typical sort of uh, iPhone, iPod type headphones that have been ripped off, but this is the main, the main gadget we're interested in. USB micro, two hole said headphone socket, SD card, micro SD card reader, on off switch. Not a soft on off switch, interesting. Maybe a reset switch, probably a light actually. And one, two, three, four, five buttons. So it's quite nicely made really. It's a bit of a shame it doesn't work, but uh, you know how it is with these things. They're just a couple of quid now on eBay and it's not really worth your while trying to fix them if they don't work right away. Just send them back and they'll just send you out another one. Um, just another comment, this is rather nice, a rather nice extrusion really, you can see it's quite thick. I don't have my vernier but you can see it's quite a bit thicker than my fingernail here. There we go, so there's your keypad, your button. A little bit like the other mp3 player we had which had the five buttons again, headphone socket, micro USB. Nice little lithium cell. Should we see if there's any juice left in that cell? Seven millivolts. I think it's safe to say that it's knackered. What else can we see? So there's your micro SD reader. It's a power on off switch. Look, they've actually screwed the PCB to the shell here, amazingly. Last screw. Okay. And there we have it. Is there any chance I can read what's it's it's a T4 T048A. So if you want one of those, you know where to go. Looking at this ball, there's a strange discoloration here on this diode. No, it's probably okay. Yep, so this is a, a single, uh, a whole chip that seems to be doing anything, everything. There's no... So you've got a single chip here that seems to be doing everything. So it's clearly acting as the USB controller for this card because once you plug this into a PC I'm pretty sure you can access the memory card as a pen drive um, and also it must contain all of the amplification circuitry for the headphone out because there's absolutely nothing else there so it's the flash USB controller probably a bit of a microcontroller on there everything needed in one that's quite a nice chip there's your crystal so the timing circuit for this chip if we flip it over, let's see what we can see. Mm, this is weird. I have to get the pin out to see really what that does. Is that the ID pin, perhaps? And these are the two USB data lines. So there you go. 
So be wary if you're looking for an MP3 player on eBay and you find the Blue Tech. This just was dead on arrival, like many things. And as ever, thanks for watching. Thank you.